Looks like, thankfully, we're in the clear from rain for the west rest of the week. Here is a live look outside. A break, but what about that cool weather? If you stepped outside in the last hour, you could feel it. If a little cooler temperatures is all we have to talk about right now, we're looking pretty good because attempts the rest of the week look good. Right, if that's your biggest complaint, I think we could take it. You know, we cut the humidity off. That's why it feels a little better. Dry air keeps sneaking in now that that front is south of us. So temperatures today weren't as warm as they were a couple of days ago. But in Montgomery, Dick had 75 for a high. Elton and Schaumburg, 77. In Gurney, we had 68 degrees. Valparaiso, 66. But as the day went on the lake breeze kicked in and temperatures fell fast, especially at the lakefront. Well, right now we have 50 degrees from Chris in Crown Point, and he is saying the sky is clearing, temperature is dropping. You know, the sun went down at 8.06. I wanted to share this picture from my Facebook friend, Charles DeRoos, and this is the Springbrook Prairie Preserve in Naperville. So peaceful. Wow, the color. Love it. Thank you. 71 was our high temperature today. Normal high is 70, so we are very close to that. Next few days, we're going to be pushing near 80, except we are going to have a lake breeze each day. We have a light wind now out of the northeast. That water temperature is in the 50s. That's why we had that lakefront cooling around town. But overall, as skies clear out, temperatures are falling. 54 degrees in Waukegan, 53 in McHenry now. It's 48 in Gary and 54 in Rensselaer. That front is pushing further to the south now, opening the door for that cooler Canadian air to push in with this ridge of high pressure. So all the storminess really is firing ahead of this stationary boundary and what a night it was for the northeast and now the mid-Atlantic states starting to see the rain continue to increase and slide to the south an active night on the Jersey Shore and in Baltimore now all of that stronger thunderstorm activity is pushing south but it's not as strong as it was a few hours ago another place that's dealing with a lot of rain is the Florida Peninsula in the southeast that's because we have an area of low pressure in the Gulf not tropical in nature the water temperatures in the northeastern Gulf are a little too cool yet for that but this is going to to increase the moisture and bring in the storm threat across the southeast. But it's going to be the dividing line of this front that's going to keep everything south of Chicago. We will have high pressure in place. So a little fog maybe in spots tonight. 52 degrees will be our low temperature. And then during the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine, cooler lakeside, about 78 degrees for the high temperature. But with that northeast wind at 5 to 10, that's where we're going to see that 68 degree reading as we get into the city and the lakefront. So dry for a while late week. We're watching for this next system. That's going to give us our next chance of rain, but not until Saturday night. So Erica and Rob, we're dry for a while. We're warm inland, a little cooler lakeside, but rain on the weekend. We will take every bit of that mild weather. Thank you, Mary Kay.